welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called Labetalol, and it is marketed under the brand name Trandate. It falls under the class of alpha-1 and non-selective beta blockers. It is also an antihypertensive. So how does it work in the body? It works by antagonizing the alpha and beta receptors, causing a decrease in peripheral resistance without an alteration in cardiac output. Your indications are going to be severe hypertension. And just a heads up before you guys come for me in the comment section, I am well aware that not every EMS service or fire department and actually the majority of them do not carry labetalol but on this channel we do go over everything from the emt basic even first responder medications all the way to emt paramedic medications so just so you guys know as always before we get into dosages abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice your dose is going to be 10 milligrams iv push over one to two minutes you can repeat this every 10 minutes to a max of 150 milligrams you can also do an infusion with two to eight milligrams per minute minute titrated to the supine blood pressure of the patient and pediatrics is just not recommended. So your contraindications are going to be congestive heart failure, cardiogenic shock, second and third degree blocks, bradycardia in general, and bronchial asthma. Adverse reactions you could encounter are fatigue, nausea, vomiting, weakness, bradycardia, drowsiness, pulmonary edema, orthostatic hypotension, and dysrhythmias. Drug interactions. So labetalol does potentiate other hypertensives, and it may actually block bronchodilator effects of your beta agonist medications. How it's supplied. It is typically 5 milligrams in a 1 milliliter vial. A few side notes about labetalol. You want to con Constantly monitor vital signs and just look for adverse reactions because labetalol could cause bradycardia, could cause heart blocks, congestive heart failure, all of the above. Just keep an eye on your patient. Only administer with a patient in the supine position. Also, observe for a possible onset of CHF, bradycardia, and bronchospasms. As we know, glucagon can be an antidote for a beta blocker overdose, so remember that 3 to 10 milligrams of glucagon can help reverse a beta blocker overdose if that's in your scope. All right, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol. Stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Medication Monday, and I'll see you next week. Bye!